Hello, welcome back. So that last game ended rather abruptly, but we were back and we are checking out the seasonal units. Um, so if you go into the season tab, you'll see all these different seasonal units with the helicopters and these are the rail, rail guns. So you need 2000 points to unlock them permanently. So I actually am not there yet. Um, but um, I'm getting closer. So you need to uh, um, kill troops and uh, enemy troops in order to unlock that permanently. Um, and you can also see in here uh, if you have a badge from season one, two, or three. So we're in season four now. Um, and if you go into the research, you can see the different season units. Season one was this elite main battle tank. And its main purpose was it could um, be uh, ferried uh, very early uh, with a ferry range of 5,000 right from the start. So that was very important. Um, and then season two was the elite attack helicopters. And I really liked those because they were very good all around. Um, although I'm not a very big helicopter person. Season three, we have, we have the elite AIP submarine which is a really uh, cool um, idea in real life. Also, it's a very sneaky submarine, um, which is very hard to detect. It's invisible when it's not engaged in combat. Um, so it's very good for sneaking up on uh, enemy troops um, or uh, I think, can it, I don't think it can fire missiles. Oh, it does have a, a cruise missile capacity, so that's good. Uh, so it can, it can sneak up, it can fire uh, from cruise missiles into cities or into troops. Um, and it's the best when it is in coastal waters, because you can see when it is in the high seas, um, its attack and its defense will drop by 50%. And its speed as well will drop, its hit points will drop. Um, so you really want to keep it in the coastal waters and if you want to see where the coastal waters are just toggle terrain types and it's going to be the light blue there so okay let's turn that off so season four is the rail guns so they seem to me to be the most popular um i'll, I'll show some some pictures of my uh, allies using them um, because they are very good all around they have an attack range of 50, so they can act like artillery. And they defend against planes and helicopters, so they act like a mobile SAM launcher. So it's a very good all-around unit. Um, and we are um, going to experiment with it a little bit in this game, although this game is uh, almost over. Um, day 37 and we're almost there um but let's see uh if we can get these into battle a little bit airlift capacity is 5,000, so we'll fly them in somewhere and hopefully they will be useful so let's see if they can go and attack mm, my allies are doing a pretty good job here but let's see Go in and attack uh, this German city. I know it's a Polish city. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I probably pronounced it wrong. Um, okay, so you can see its uh, range there from there to there. Uh, so that's pretty good. I really like long range units. And if you paid for the uh, subscription, the yearly subscription, you can also set it to aggressive. So that way, if it sees anybody, it will stop immediately and fire upon them. Uh, so it doesn't have a good scouting ability. Um, the scouting ability is kind of underrated. You don't something that you don't really think about very often. But basically, these guys can act as scouts. Um, so as long as it's in range, um, a range of... Ooh. Sight range, range of 40 on open ground. It will actually be able to see exactly what kind of troops they are. Um, 
So with these guys, they won't be able to see what's going on. So if they can't see a troop, then they won't be able to attack them. Um, but if you have a mobile uh, radar, then that would be very useful. Um, we also have an elite AIP submarine because I haven't really used them before. Um, so we'll also send one into battle here. Let's just split that first. Okay, so there is the elite AIP submarine. Looks pretty cool. Looks like it's got some like red on it or something. Uh, so let's see what the range like on this guy is. Um, of course, it won't be able to attack troops, but I just want to see what the range looks like. Um, so the range is 50 as well, so that's what it looks like. So it won't be very good against something like a cruiser, which has a, a, a longer range. Uh, but that's what that looks like, and we'll also set it to aggressive mode. Um, I really like aggressive mode. I, I'm happy with my purchase of the yearly membership. Um, but uh, there is a maximum mobilization limit for both, uh, actually for all of the um, seasonal units. So you can't have like 20 of them. Um, so for the submarines, you can only have six. And same with these rail guns, you can only have six until you level level it up some more. Um, so yeah, we'll see like how long that takes uh, for them to travel there. Uh, obviously their speed isn't that high. Um, and in this game, I, I still went with mobile SAM launchers and I, and I also went with uh, artillery. Um, but I could see where you would just completely uh, replace both the mobile, uh, the multiple rocket launchers and the mobile SAM launchers just with rail guns if you wanted to. Um, I, I chose not to in this game because a few reasons. Number one is that um, because of that limited, limited uh, mobilization. Um, once you research them, you can only have three at first. So that's really not enough to make a difference um, until you get all the way up here where the limit's actually going to be 15. And you also have this air assault, which is kind of useful. It's not really that useful, actually. <laughs> um, and the attack range also goes up to 75. And you can ferry up to 10,000, I don't know, 10,000 miles. or It's just 10,000 units. There's no real, real unit to it. Um, but the main problem with this is if you go up here, they're really hard to mobilize. You need secret weapons lab level two, which is the same that you need for chemical, chemical warheads. And you also need army base level five. So that is the highest uh, research, research standards I've ever seen. Um, and it's really hard to get all the way up to army base level five and secret weapons lab level two. Um, early in the game, which is why I think it's smarter just to go with uh, these uh, multiple rocket launchers for range and these guys um, uh, to defend against uh, jets. Um, of course, then you also need um, artillery to defend against um, helicopters. Um, so I've had games where I've had all three of those in use and if you want to, you can maybe use the rail guns. But like I said, you need to think about the cost, um, the limited mobilization, um, and, and of course you have to research them as well. So you have to have um, rare materials and you have to have supplies. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts for now. Um, hopefully I can get them into action a little bit. Um, so you can see this is what the 5,000 looks like. Uh, it can travel from here all the way to here. So that's pretty good. So, okay, we're going to uh, check back once they're in action. All right, hello and welcome back to this look at the seasonal units, seasonal units deep dive. 
so um, we have researched up our our submarines and the rail guns. So we now have them totally leveled up and we can actually have 15 rail guns and we can have 15 submarines. But as you can see, this game is nearly over. So I'm not sure how much use I will get out of them. Let's see if I can show you what's going on. Um, it's, it's quite crazy right now. Uh, so this alliance was me, India, China, Indonesia, Colombia, and then we added Egypt. And Egypt has taken most of Africa. Colombia and Indonesia took the Americas. And me and China have been working our way towards Europe. So this game is almost over. Um, and it's actually been one of my easier games. And I also, one of my more well-played games. I haven't lost too many troops. But a railgun um, has made it to Poland and to Austria, but there aren't too many troops for it to defeat. Um, but it is on its way to attack Vienna to see if there's somebody there. But let me see. Oh, here's the air assault. Now it has its level three. So we can actually do an air assault. And what that is, I guess it's like a helicopter dropping it. So as long as there's an airport within range, it can actually air assault to anywhere on the field, anywhere in that circle, which is quite crazy. So let's say we want to we want to bring it to that little island there. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. So now it is on its way to that island because I don't know, maybe there's some kind of rebel group hiding out, some kind of Swedish rebel group. Um, so yeah, this game was really cool. It was our coalition against, it was Sweden, the UK, um, and Ukraine basically, as well as Canada. Um, so it was, it was a whole coalition against a whole coalition basically and uh, nobody else in between. Uh, so it really was a well, well formatted little game here. Um, also one of the quickest at only 38 days. But here goes these level three elite rail guns. Let's click on it, see what we can make of this. So now the limit is 15. Okay, so one of the best things about this rail gun, about these rail guns, I think, is that it hits ships. So if you research them all the way up, they hit ships at 11. Um so it can defend against missiles. It can also attack missiles. Um, I don't think you're going to be attacking the missile um, silos very often. Uh, but it defends against the helicopter at 5.2. It attacks helicopters when they're on the ground at 7. Um, yeah, these attack are actually for when they're on the ground, I believe. Um, but defense so they're going to defend against a helicopter when a, helico a plane is attacking it's going to defend at a 6.4 and defend at a 5.2 um so it's better it looks like it's better at attacking things than it is at defending um so i guess the best way to take these things down is actually going to be to attack them with infantry because they can only defend at a 4.5 so if you have a group of 10 infantry um, you might be able to take down these rail guns. However, you do have to contend with this range of 75. So the rail guns will be able to find you um, as long as uh, uh, your, if your opponent has mobile radar, uh, they'll be able to find you at a range of 75 and they'll start hitting you actually at a 6. But, but if you, are, if you um, get close enough, your infantry will attack them, and they're only defend at a 4.5. So that would be the best way to take them out. It won't be ships, won't be helicopters, and it won't be planes, really. I think the best way is going to be this infantry to get up close. So if we look at hit points, we have 20, 20, 20. Um, obviously, when they're on the on seas, they're weaker because they're in transport ships. And they're going to be very slow in the mountains. They're also going to slow in the jungle. Um, and they're going to be fastest, of course, on open ground. 
Um, so yeah, they're they're pretty good. Um, I think it will be rare to see a full level three um, transport uh, rail guns. I'm sorry, uh, level three rail guns, just because it's so hard to research and mobilize. You do need level five air bases and level two uh, secret weapon research. Um, so I think it will be pretty rare to have that. Um, but now if we look at the AIP submarines, um, which I haven't used before, we can see what they're good for. So these are also researched up to level three. I only have one, I think, maybe two, but the other one is not here. Um, so the coolest thing about these guys is, this is Israel, right? And this is me, India. Israel can't see that I'm here. He has no idea. So it's it's a stealth unit. And more than that, more than just stealth, if it's not in combat, um, it's not visible. So if I decide to attack him, then he would see it. But right now, I'm able to see all of his units here, um, and he has no idea that I'm there. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and send some missiles in. Um, hmm, I'm not sure. Conventional cruise missile loading. I'm not sure why I can't uh, do that right now, but you can see the circle there. Um, it's interesting. I'm pretty sure I researched uh, cruise missiles. Let's let's check here if I have researched them. Yeah, research complete. Okay, I'm not sure why that's not working. Maybe I have to like restart the game or something. Uh, but yeah, you can I can see all of Israel's troops, which is really cool. Um, so we're not going to attack Israel though, because it's just not worth it. Uh, we have plenty of points here. Um, but yeah, so that's the AIP submarine. And we still have the rail gun. Um, but I still think my favorite season unit is going to be the helicopter. And the reason for that is because all these season units, they have limit, limited mobilization. And it's pretty much the same. It goes like three and then um, five, three and then six and then 15. So the reason I like these elite attack helicopters the most is because if you only have three of them, they'll still make a difference. Um, because they, because if you have only three rail guns or three of these guys or even three of these, the problem is it's very unlikely that they're going to be in the right place at the right time. So with the elite helicopters, and you only have three of them, they will be able to travel very fast and get to those locations where you need some extra force. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. Let me know um, what you think. And... Um, let me know if you have seen any of these railguns in your battles. So that would do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.